Hello guys, and after such a beautiful intro, you probably know what's coming up. And this is Daily Race C at Nürburgring GP in Group 4, and for this one, I'm using the Supra. So it's the GR Supra in Group 4, not the best car when it comes to this race, it's not very good on fuel, but I decided to take this one and just, you know, give it a go, why not? Let's see how it works, if it works. Starting from P13, actually, from P14, but, uh, yeah, Grooves, for some reason, he wanted to uh, go from the back, so he just let all of us pass, and then I got promoted into P13. I wanted to be careful, as careful as possible. And then, it's second gear, third on the way out, and, yeah, it's this guy. So, let's have a look at what happened here. One, two, three, four, and there it is. So, this is uh, apparently how you get a place. Okay. Minding my own business, just trying to stay behind this guy, saving a little bit of fuel. I know Groove's behind, but I just don't want to do much. I mean, I just try to save as much fuel as possible, you know, have a clean race and don't cause any trouble. But here, the gap opens up and I try and I actually got this place. So, he gave me just about enough space and I kind of squeezed myself into P11. So, actually, race was looking pretty good from this point. I mean, I was quite surprised at how clean it actually was at the beginning. And only... Okay, that one move wasn't really that clean, but okay. We are going in lap one. It's actually half of the lap one done. And I'm at the back of this guy in lap two. And all of a sudden, I can see, once again, what is this guy doing? I mean, it's the same guy from turn two. Or actually, it was turn three of the first lap. The same one. And now Barry, I mean, he probably got annoyed. I mean, I can be... Yeah, I would be too because he was squeezed out of that position. It was unbelievable. And you probably noticed, I mean, it's, yeah, it's pretty annoying when you get pushed out like that. So now I make a little mistake. These hard tires on the Supra are not the best. They're kind of okay, but if you catch a slide, it's very difficult to stop it. So you have to know, uh, you definitely have to know what to do and how to manage your fuel and at the same time push. I mean, it was, a, it was quite a difficult period of, of the race and here, Barry once again gets pushed wide by Groove. I think Groove had a move done, but Barry just didn't give him enough space. And now, I mean, I was I was very surprised, as probably you can see the, yeah, the expression on my face. So I gave him more than enough space, and it's, as you probably can tell, like a push. So it wasn't a little one, it was like a huge push, like I wasn't even there. And once again, I'm just... I'm just into P16, and I'm just trying to make it possible to eventually get a couple of places, so... Okay, P16, I know, we got a couple more laps, so the race isn't halfway there, so I got... I got a lot of time to make it up. So here, inside, didn't really work out, giving me the outside of this corner, and usually if the guy in the, on the inside does not give you the space, you're once again pushed out wide. But... Thank you very much, sir. You gave me enough space and I was able to make this one through. And I got promoted into P16. Not the best place in the world, but, you know, place by place, eventually I got myself into P14 after that Ferrari made a mistake. So it was looking better than... Yeah, it was looking better than like a couple of minutes ago. Not the best, to be honest, but I can see this group up ahead. I can see them fighting. And these two guys picked up half a second and a second penalty. I mean, it's incredible how much you... You just lose so much time if you even get the, like a half a second penalty. It's like one second, one and a half actually. So, you know, once again, I caught up with uh, with the pack P12. And I can see these guys fighting Barry and Nutty Nugget. They are fighting really, really hard. And I just try to squeeze myself in here. I mean, I gave him enough space. I was on the inside. I mean, to be honest, he gave me huh, a little bit less space than I expected. But it was... On the other hand, it was quite okay. I mean, he didn't really push me wide like I wasn't even there. So, it was, it was, let's say, a fairly clean fight. And I don't think any of that was done on purpose. So, once again, I'm on the inside. I'm trying to make this place... <laughs> I'm trying to make this place on the inside. But that Subaru has a really great acceleration. And even you can see here. So, I'm on the outside. I'm carrying more speed. But he's got so much more acceleration that eventually I almost lose a place to the other super that was just behind so minding my own business fuel map okay fuel map four and then this gap opened up and i just kind of got myself two places and a half a second penalty which is yeah usually how it happens so the guy from behind barry once again gives me a little nudge but i wanted to see what got him into this place so they were really fighting for this place in the chicane not usually 
usually the best place to do it, but okay, it can be done. And here, I'm just like, I'm a passenger, I mean, like, like I'm not even there, once again, half a second penalty. I tried to squeeze him on the inside now, I gave him just about enough space, but there were a couple of contacts, I mean, I was quite surprised at how much, how much contact there was. Okay, Sorin might have a second penalty, and we are in P10 now, so... Once again, I would like to mind my own business. Fuel map was a must here, because I know this guy has a penalty. It's a one second penalty. He will probably lose like two seconds on the straight. Fuel map six. This car was terrible in fuel. So if you're watching this, don't use this car in this race. It, it was absolutely terrible. But I somehow managed to get myself into P9. And yeah, this is P8 now. Look in the replay. Groove kind of missed his breaking point. But at least, at least something. He waited for the guy. So he knew, okay, I made a mistake and I'm going to wait for this guy. Your, my race is ruined, but so is his. So, I think that was fairly decent move that he done. Okay, it's not like the best thing to do, but <laughs> when I see these guys fighting in front of me, I'm like, okay, you know, you can make a mistake, but at least you're gonna wait for the other guy. But these guys, okay, I don't, I don't even want to mention. Okay, maybe the Brit right here didn't, you know, didn't really, yeah, didn't really want to make it happen. But this German in front of me, he was always always on the edge of the contact or just pushing someone wide so it's, it was just incredible to watch something like that from behind i mean and now fuel map three fuel map four i'm just trying to carry that speed while at the same time uh, fuel manage and just you know finish the race in the end so it's trying to squeeze myself in here and just for the reference i mean i took the same example from the couple of a uh, couple of laps before actually was lap number one and you can see that the other guy if you want to go for that move the guy must give you the space so not like crash into you like this guy did and what was the most God, unbelievable thing right now was okay i bro yeah, i was breaking a little bit later but now i think that ferrari or like the Oh, I mean, I don't even know how to explain this. It was just absolute carnage. So, looking at the replay once again, you can see there was a little push from the black Ferrari. He, okay, he was breaking right at the point, but then, oh, wow, it's like, I don't know if it's just dirty or if it's just bad or coincidence or, I don't know what this race was at the end. You guys let me know down in the comments because the more I'm watching this, the more I cannot believe what's going on around the track. I mean, Usually, the races are pretty clean, I don't have to worry about this stuff, I mean... Okay, I got pushed once, it can happen, I got pushed twice, it can happen once again, but three, four, five times is like too much. And once again, I tried to squeeze myself in the inside in here, I, I, gave, I just had to give him the space, because I don't think he was aware that I was there, I was going for the inside. So I just lifted, I mean, I, was, I stepped on the brakes and you know, just waited, otherwise it would have been another crash. So, I had to be really careful of what I do. And especially here in the chicane, I mean, it's not really the best place to make a mistake. And if the other guy behind you really don't know what he's doing, then he's gonna push you wide and then it's game over for the, like, fifth time in this race. And once again, this... Ah, uh, I mean, I was watching this and look at it, from nowhere, he just squeezes this guy out. Like, what is going on with this guy? So, I, I mean, I was behind him for a majority of the race and the... The number of contacts he's done in this race is just incredible. And he didn't even get the DR reset or anything. It's just safety just stayed at S at the end. It was like incredible just to even watch this. And okay, now I'm just trying to make this place up. I mean, P7, not really the best through the chicane. And then later, I watched these guys fight for the win. This is actually fight for the first three places. And oh, once again, there was so much contact in this race that I just couldn't believe. Somehow, I managed to finish this race in, PN, in P8 after all of that. And it's it was, I think in the end, it was like 35 seconds slower than my usual pace. That's about 3 seconds per lap. That's huge. And just because of all of that fighting that was going on. I mean, I... Yeah, I am speechless, guys, so please let me know what do you think about this race down in the comments, and is, if this is maybe the worst that you have ever seen. So, I mean, hope this was okay. I mean, I don't even know how to explain it, but yeah, if you enjoyed, you can always hit the like button. I do appreciate it, and until the next time, guys, bye.